Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and today I am finally here with a new collab video. It feels like it was a pretty long while since I did a collab. I can't even remember when, but today I'm doing a collab with one of my friends that is Angelica Lidemar. And me and Angelica, we have done one collab, I think, together before and then we have done some we have been a part of a bigger club, and Anelka is one of my friends we have met in real life. It's so strange to say that, that like you have friends that you never have met, and the world of interwebs. But okay, <laughs> we are doing a collab, and this is an idea that is inspired from Annette's Makeup Corner some years back, <laughs> I don't know, maybe two years back. One year, one and a half. Annette had a series when she did her palette from a brand, so she took all the palettes that like she had maybe from Juve's Place and took a favorite shade of each of the palettes, and it was her Juve's Place palette. I also did a video like this, like that, and today, <laughs> okay, I need to get better to doing intros. I know that, but it's. I don't know, Cha a chaotic brain. And uh, I have a cat here again. I tried to lure her away, but she's back. So me and Angelica, we are like doing our favorite Ikalidos palette. So we are taking our favorite shade from each of the five first Futurism palettes. And I think we have the same fear that it's going to be five shimmery shades. I'm so afraid of that and I don't know if I want to cheat but I'm going to try to not do that and yeah so I will leave Angelica down in the description and I will also leave Annette and uh, I will talk a little bit more about Angelica when I've started but I think I can just pick the colors and we get started with this look I just have to be prepared like five shimmers okay five shimmers hopefully not and I want to swatch the shades then I guess I have to think about it a little bit and then I'm just going to get started with the makeup look. And it was a while ago since I used my Futurism palettes, at least these five. So okay, <laughs> from the Sci-Fi Green palette, it looks like this. I really do love the black shade in this one but it's not my favorite. I actually think that this shimmer is my favorite or this one. I think this one. The greenish shimmer is my favorite. Okay, this is going to be so many shimmers. <laughs> so I'm going to swatch it here and do you see this? Okay, the lighting was a little bit... I'm going to show you all the swatches together later on. Then we have number two. This is Cyber Bronze and here it's also shimmer because I love this red shimmer. This is one of my absolutely favorite red shimmers I have in my collection. And we're starting good. A green shimmer and the red shimmer. So far two shimmers. The next one is Astro pink and here The palette looks like this. I do really love this shade and I love this shade, but I also love this shade I don't know if it is because I think this shades work amazing with the other ones in the palettes But I'm actually going to take this Dark dark pink this dark fuchsia color and where? What, what, what can I do with this? I don't know. Then one of uh, my absolute favorite palettes from Kaleidos. The VR Neon number 4. It's their neon palette. You hear that on the name. That looks like this. And do you know what my favorite shade in this palette is? It is <laughs> this orange shimmer. This is going... Great. 
so great. I guess this is going to be a really colorful look at least. And okay, the last palette is Electro Turquoise and on this one I actually love matte the most and it is this orange. So the color story, this one. And this is going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting. So I can show you a close up. Okay, so this is my Kaleidos palette then. So this is from the Sci-Fi Green, Cyber Bronze, Astro Pink, VR Neon and Electro Turquoise. And, and I honestly don't have any idea what to do with this. I think I could do a really nice look with like the red and these two orange. But then how are I going to get these two into the mix? I don't know. I have to think about this. I am sure that I will get something out of this. The question is only like how how crazy will I look? I have swatched so, so much, but I think I have come up with something. I have no idea how this will look. It might not go to be a great look. We will see. I'm actually going to start with the Electro Turquoise palette and take the matte orange, this one, and take it in my crease. Um, I'm not sure. It's going to be so fun to see which colors Angelica did get. I think we might get some of the shaming shades, but I'm not. Okay, I think this is pretty pigmented and I don't want that much. So I'm going to tap it off a little bit. Okay, maybe. Maybe I should just roll with it, but this was not. I think that brush is a little bit too big. And okay, maybe I should talk a little bit about Angelica. I never know what to say because I'm from Sweden and Angelica is from Sh Sweden. And I never know to say Angelica, like the English version, or Angelica. But it's just so hard to switch between Swedish and English pronunciation in the middle of sentence. So I think I'm going to just go with Angelica. But if you haven't checked her out, you have to. She is so, so sweet. She does a lot, um, a lot of makeup videos and she tests some new makeup. She do collective hauls and she do reviews and she also do these new makeup releases videos and do a get red with me at the same time and i do really like those and she also does some vlogs and i vlogs is not something that i watch so like super often but i really like hers maybe because i know her and it's just fun to see what she is doing with her family with her husband and her daughter but also I feel like you get to know a person a little bit more when you watch a vlog so I do really recommend Angelica if you want someone that is just amazing with makeup and she is so kind and she's so I just like her vibe with her channel she's always like happy and it's just a good you get in a good mood when you watch her. And she has grown kind of a lot and she's so close to 2000. I don't think she has hit 2000 subscribers yet and I don't know why she haven't because she's great. So if you don't follow Angelica, don't forget to check her out and I think you would really like her. Okay, so far so good. I used one shade. And I actually don't think that I will use this palette more today. Maybe. 
And so for my lid then, I am going to start with the Cypher Green and this green shimmer that I picked. And I'm going to put this outer part of my lid. And so far I'm confident with this look. But soon I guess that everything will change. And when we did plan this collab, it was like, okay, which palette do we have? Or from what brand do we have palettes that we have many palettes from and that is the same? And I am so happy that we had from Kaleidos, the both of us, because I, Kaleidos is one of my favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows. And I really do love this Fusion palette. So... This was just so fun that we picked those. But maybe if I'm going to be 100% honest, I don't know if that was so fun anymore. But when we saw which shades I got. But oh well. So far this is working and I do love this green shimmer. I think if you take it with other greens, you can get it, or darker shades, you can get it to really grungy color but now pairing it to this orange it looks like a little bit more of a happy green shimmer so for the rest of my lid I'm going in with the VR neon and this one the orange shimmer and I am going to put that on the rest of my lid and I know it will go good together with the green shade and when I swatched on my arm, it looked good together with the green. So I hope it will do it on my eyelid as well. I'm so happy doing a collab again. It has been a long while and it's soon coming one more collab. And I'm so happy to do it with Angelica again. We talked about it in the end of last year to do a collab, but then I got sick and yeah, things wasn't super great in my life, so it didn't happen. And then I had a live stream two weeks ago, I think it was, and... Then Angelica and me agreed on doing a collab again. So it's so fun to finally do it. And you know what? I really do love this eye. Can I stop it here? Can I just go with this and then take the last two shades? Okay, I'm going in with my crease shade and now like the palettes. You should see the table. It's open palettes everywhere. And I have a cat hair on this. I'm just going in with a little bit of my crease shade in my crease and just find this. This is, this is great. I don't think that I would have paired these colors if I had the choice. And was like planning to do a look with all of my Fuchsia palettes. I do not think that I would have done this but now when I'm doing it they matches so good together and that is the thing that I love to do like these kinds of videos or palette bingo you have to match shades that you maybe wouldn't have match if you could choose okay and then We have lost the brush. So far I'm loving this. It's chaotic on the table. Chaotic. I have used three shades, so I have two shades left. And I actually think that I'm going to go in with the Cyber Bronze. So this red shimmer. And try to deepen down my outer corner. 
I don't think though this brush is going to be a good brush for that. Do we have something? And I know that you are not supposed to mix red and green because it equals a brownish, but it shimmers so it usually doesn't care anymore. But now I'm thinking, can I put the red shimmer in my inner corners? Or is it too dark? For, no, I think it's too dark for that. Okay, I'm going it in with my brush. Tap it off and trying to just deepen this down a little bit. And I did. Okay, this is working. Whew. Okay, the lids are done and I'm happy with them. So the only shade that I have left is from the Astro Pink. And it's this one. And I guess that you all know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take it on my lower lash. And I hope that like the contrast from bright fun lids, bright shimmery fun lids and dark under, a dark under eye will make it more fun. I hope it will. <laughs> so I will fix my base, my brows, take that shade on my lower lash line and maybe I take a bright orange in my waterline to just connect it with my eyelids. I will see, I might do that. So I will fix my the rest of my face and hopefully it still will feel good when I come back. I am done. So for my lower lash, I just took the shade that I had left. This one from Astro Pink. On my waterline, I went in with Unz from Colourpop. And on my lips, I took uh, this one from Kaleidos. This is Terra. And I'm dropping everything. And yeah, this is my finished look. And I do like this look. I think it's a fun look. I love the lids. And... I think that the lower lash line goes great together with the lids. Maybe I, if I could do whatever I want, I think I would have taken an orange on my lower lash. But I think this works good. So yeah, I'm happy with this. And should, I don't know if anybody wants to recap. But I took this green from the Cyber No sci-fi green this green from the sci-fi green and then the red one from cyber bronze the dark fuchsia maybe from astro pink the shimmer orange from vr neon and last but not least the matte orange from electro turquoise and i <laughs> I think this is a fun idea to do and it's fun to see like my favorite colors how they will look together when I'm not thinking about a look. I think if I would have done a look with this I each one shade from each of the palettes I don't would have done this. I think I would have taken the black in this one. I think I actually would have taken the red but then I would take like a light shimmer in this. The matte red in this one. And maybe the brown in this one or the silver. And... Uh, but I think it's fun to have some challenge. Sometimes. And not always, but sometimes. And it's going to be so fun to see what Angelica has gotten for shades. I don't think we will have all the same. I think... She might, I think she has taken the shimmer from the Astro Pink and maybe a turquoise from this one, but I don't know. And it's going to be so fun to see what she has done. So if you don't follow Angelica, you have to do it. She's amazing and so, so sweet. So she has been up here in the beginning of the video, I think. I'm usually, if I'm doing a collab, I usually put them up in the corner pretty early. Her video and her channel will be down in the description. And also Annette where this is inspired from. So yeah, 
I really hope you liked this video. I thought it was so fun to do a collab again. And it won't take long for my next collab. And I just want to come into this to do collabs again. But <laughs> I just haven't got the time. And yeah, the, the latest month though, I have been coming back to YouTube more and more. And that feels good. But yeah. I am going to end this now, but thank you so much Angelica for doing a collab with me. It has been so fun and I can't wait to see what you did. And I think she also would have kind of a lot of shimmers. But I know that you can do this. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!